we are live and i'm so so excited for another week of crypto conversations because tonight this week i have a very very special guest on the call right this person if you don't already know is someone who <laughs> honestly the amount of impact this guy's had on my life it is honestly insane, right? And I know a lot of you guys here, just drop a three in the chat. If you've been impacted by Mr. Christian Vargas, if your life has been impacted by Mr. Christian Vargas, and I know this chat box is about to go insane because what this guy's done for me, honestly, is like, I actually personally got to live with this guy in Puerto Rico and, you know, have one of those mentorship experiences of not just through Zoom calls, but, you know, being able to see him live life, right? And I think when you see your mentors, and you just see them as normal human beings. And you also see them excel at the things that they excel at. Right? I remember he literally came to our house one day in the middle of an event. And he just showed up literally with his bags and just got in front of the room and slayed it. Right? He's taught me so much about sales. He's taught me so much about personal development. Honestly, this guy's brain is crazy. And Chris, I really, really want to commend you just on your, like, your vision, man. Like your vision. I know you've been there since day one with this company. And you've seen so many things through that most people wouldn't. And you, you saw things that most people don't, right? And you, I'm just so grateful to have you as a personal mentor. I'm so grateful for you to be here tonight to have this conversation. So let me unmute you. Ask to unmute you. Let me pin my video. Let me pin yours. Get this conversation on the row. At Spotlight. Boom, we're pinned. We're good. Can you, can you, can we, can we unmute you? Asked to unmute. All right, I think we're good. What's up, Chris? How you feeling, bro? It's good, bro. How's everybody doing? So, I'm doing fantastic. I'll speak for everybody else. But <laughs> how you, yo, yo, uh, let me get a year. <laughs> year. Yo, that Beast Coast though, the Beast Coast out there, they they slaying that thing, man. They Beast they really Coast, for real, man. You guys are crazy. <laughs> but again, Chris, thank you for for being here. Thank you for being on the call with us tonight. I know. A lot of people know a little bit about you and your brain is just, man, I don't know sometimes where you get the information you get, but I know like when you tap in and when you're flowing, just wisdom comes out of your mouth. So I'm excited. I'm excited for tonight because I want to tap into that. I want to get to like, I'll provide that for some other people. Let them see that value. But yeah, man, how are you feeling? How, how's your cryptos doing? I know this is a crypto conversation. So appreciate you, brother. Appreciate yeah. you. And thank you for the invite, you know, um, of course, uh, always down to, to to provide value for the team, you know, especially for my boy. I mean, bro, you know, you, you're somebody who I've seen develop over the last few years. And it's just crazy to me to see, you know, where we're at now and where we were, you know, a few years ago when we were, it was like 10 of us in that, you know, it was a nice house, you know, uh, by the beach. <laughs> yeah. uh, but, but still, bro, it's crazy to see how now every single, you know, one of us that was in that house has, you know, created our own empires and is developing our own empires. And, you know, I'm super, super grateful for you, bro. And, you know, I want to congratulate you on all your success, especially in like the world of cryptos. I mean, you literally are that guy that, you know, knows probably everything there is to know about cryptos. bro. So <laughs> I'm excited to be on this call with you and, you know, learn from you as well. Thank you, man. Thank you. And yeah, it's crazy how, how things change, you know, how fast things change in a couple of years. But really my, my intention and goal with bringing like doing these calls, you know, is to to show people how diverse crypto investors really are. Because I think if you're not investing in cryptocurrencies right now, like one, like, yo, what the heck's wrong with you? What are you doing? <laughs> you know, and two, I like showing people how there's different strategies and different approaches to this. Not everyone's doing the same things that I'm doing. And that's why I love bringing my mentors on here for you guys to kind of get a blink, uh, glimpse into their brains and what they see within cryptocurrency. Chris, so yeah, I kind of want to start with what's your, um, you know, everyone loves Bitcoin. <laughs> Bitcoin's what? Bitcoin's took a little took a little dive down today, last couple of days. I mean, I definitely we'll definitely get into that. But besides besides Bitcoin, what do you really got your eyes on in the market, man? What what cryptos excite you? You know, it's crazy with Bitcoin um cuz <laughs> I know a lot of people got in over the last month or so and and to be honest, I've been shorting for about a month. Um, hey. so, <laughs> you know, I'm sorry. <laughs> I called it out, you know, somewhere. Um, but, you know, regardless, though, I, I know it's just going to fill in, you know, another point of imbalance and, mm -hmm. you know, go right back up just because there's so much potential and it's got so much, you know, applications now. I mean, it's it's literally used as a form of transaction 
uh, easier form of transaction than, you know, pretty much anything else. And if you look at That's how right. many people are getting involved with trading and how many people are going to be involved in trading from here the next five years, you know, a lot of people are going to be withdrawing from their brokers and it's mainly going to be in, in Bitcoin. So I know that, you know, regardless that, that, that thing's, you know, a safe investment for, you know, long-term potential. And we're looking at the next high to be, you know, somewhere around like 80 K potentially. So, so you ain't, you ain't worried about nothing right now. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Yeah. But you know, I like to, I like to play ping pong in the market. So of course, you know, I'm going to get in for a nice little short, and um, if you watch the movie, The Big Short, I mean, it's it's the same thing, you know, it's just being educated, knowing what, you know, is potentially going to happen based on patterns. I mean, it's all pattern recognition. So if you can see the patterns, you can prepare yourself for a lot of different coins. And it's crazy because so many coins right now are just really taking off. I mean, I know VRA was mm -hmm. one that blessed a lot of people. Mm -hmm. You know, we got into VRA, really good price as well. Um, sand, you know, sand. Uh, if you haven't seen Sandbox, Sandbox is a, a NFT um, where you could pretty much buy virtual land. It's it's crazy, and uh, you know we got into Sandbox pretty early. We own quite a bit of virtual land now, and so uh, NFTs are non fungible tokens, things that are kind of like collectible art pieces. You know, think of um, like uh, the the Mona Lisa, for example. There's only one Mona Lisa, so it's always going to be worth a lot of money, especially because it's, you know, highly sought after a lot of people want it. Uh, just like fiat currency has value just because we perceive it, you know, to have value. It's the same thing in the world of NFTs. And so a lot of people have a lot of sentimental value to certain things, especially like, you know, back to the future, uh, Ghostbusters, Pokemon, things like that. And we're seeing the very first stages of what could potentially be, um, you know, I don't know if you guys have ever seen the movie, uh, Ready Player One, I'm actually going to play like the uh, trailer for you guys because I want you guys to see what's going on and what's literally going to be everybody's reality here in the next you know, five years. Uh, not, not even five years. Honestly, a lot of this technology already exists, but let me go ahead and show you guys because it's pretty crazy. Um, how can I? Oh, there we go. Does it allow you to share? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Cool, cool, cool. My name's Wade Watts. My dad picked that name because it sounded like a superhero's alter ego, like Peter Parker or Bruce Banner. But he died when I was a kid, my mom too. And I ended up here, sitting here in my tiny corner of nowhere. There's nowhere left to go, nowhere, except the Oasis. A whole virtual universe. People come to the Oasis for all the things they can do. But they stay because of all the things they can be. Can you feel this? Um, yeah. It's the only place that feels like I mean anything. The Oasis was the brainchild of James Halliday. Hello, if you're watching this, I'm dead. I created a hidden object, an Easter egg. The first person to find the egg will inherit half a trillion dollars and total control of the Oasis itself. Who is this Parzival, and how the hell is he winning? Find him. This isn't just a game. I'm talking about actual life and death stuff. The Oasis. The world's most important economic resource. And it's nothing less than a war. We're in control of the future. Welcome to the rebellion, Wade. Many of you, I only came here to escape. But I found something much bigger than just myself. Are you willing to fight? Help us save the Oasis. 
So yeah, I highly recommend everybody to watch this movie because I'm not gonna lie, it's kind of um, a lot of uh, the same values that we have here at Trade House because the, the game is based on a rigged system, right? A few people wanna change the system, but in order to change the system, they gotta what? They first gotta beat the game, right? And so what, what are we doing just by trading and learning about all these financial different instruments? We're literally beating them at their own game. And so it's crazy. Because eventually, you know, we'll be the ones that are the hedge funds. We'll be the ones that are the ones that are calling the shot and are really taking control of, you know, how everything's going to play out in the future long term. So I really believe that what we're doing just by educating people about this market, about, you know, cryptocurrencies and NFTs and Forex and everything, uh, it, it just really excites me. So you know, I'm excited because I know that right now it's almost like Jordan Morgan says, you can throw a dart and and really like you know come up accidentally <laughs> i know a lot of people accidentally came up and didn't even know what they were doing just like in bitcoin 2017 i mean i've, I've seen some of my best friends become millionaires you know i've been tapia somebody that i've known for uh, i mean not even tapia i've been paychecks uh somebody that i've known for about four years now and you know i remember whenever he first got into it four years ago he was telling everybody you know sell whatever you got to sell like put your mortgage on it. Like, it doesn't matter. Like it's going to shoot up to the moon and anybody that, you know, obviously took his advice really got uh, extremely wealthy. I mean, he became multimillionaire just from that. He's also a chairman in the business and he trades. So it's just crazy you know, how easy it is in today's world to really reach that six and, and even seven figure mark. Facts, facts. And it's like that conviction once, when you know, and you believe something and you really see it before it's happened and you're like, are you crazy you don't see this too like you don't see like this is gonna blow up like why aren't you putting your money in this as well and you know that's what that's what unites all of us here <laughs> like i am is like we're those crazy people that see the world and so and see like yo this is how messed up it is but like this is how it could be right and like let's actually do stuff to do that let's make it so it's more of a vision of what we want it to be instead of complaining about what it is you know and that kind of like segues me into like my next talking point what i want to talk to you about because this is something I love. I love listening to you speak about it. It's just like the future of things and where you things see things going. Because I find that people who have the, are the best vision casters are also the people who have gone back the furthest. Right? The people who have read back, done their research, done their homework, know the history, know where things are and why things are the way they are, are truly the people qualified to have that conversation, I think, about the future of things. And I really don't believe there's somebody out there more qualified than you to talk about this stuff just from the information the conversations we had man it's insane you blow my brain um with the knowledge you have i mean they're like what do you see for the future of all this stuff like as far as you want to paint it you know with with i am with people knowing how to trade with the whole also i would love to hear you touch on like the nft world because i think that's kind of what ready player one is it's a full-on nft world and i know like you said trade house has already invested owns land in the sandbox and stuff but yeah i'd love to hear from your mind like your vision of the future of crypto and I am. That's a really, that's a really in-depth question. So that's <laughs> going to take me a second to answer. Um, course, right, because I really have like, you know, depth of vision. I, I see way, way, way below surface level. Um, and, I, and I know that every single person, first of all, that's, you know, on this call um, that is really going all in. I mean, who, who in here is all in? Like put it in the chats if, if you're all in and don't, and don't put all in if you're not doing this at least, eight hours a day because it's easy, it's easy to say you're all in, mm. but you have to be obsessed or you're going to be average in this game. You know, this is, if somebody told you that all you needed was one or two, three hours and you were going to become extremely wealthy in this, let me just tell you, they lie to you. <laughs> all right. It's, it's literally 24 seven. You have to be obsessed. You have to eat, breathe, sleep, you know, everything. Um, just be completely focused in learning and in applying, not just in learning. You can't just learn, 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 learn. There's no point in watching all the videos. There's no point in attending every single event, every seminar, if you're not taking any action. And if you're just taking action, but you're not attending any seminars, you're not on any of the events or any of the calls, then again, you're, you're doing it wrong. You're going nowhere fast. It's, it's a steady balance of learn and apply, learn and apply. That means, you know, watch videos, apply them immediately after, and you're going to pick this up like that. And if you're all in and you really embody this and you know that this is not just a vehicle for you to get extremely wealthy and set your family up for you know long-term success, but 
this is something that can bless anybody's lives. I mean, absolutely any person would much rather wake up to profits than they would, you know, to anything else, um, especially to an alarm clock, uh, you know, Monday morning. I mean, how does that feel? I know some people here have now left their full-time job and, you know, don't have to uh, face that reality anymore. But I remember that, you know, that was my reality for a long time, for many years. And every single Monday um, I dreaded, you know, just, having to get up, get ready, get dressed, you know, in traffic, go to work, uh, be there all day, waiting, just looking at the clock, you know, to, to see when it's time to go, get stuck in traffic again, and then just repeat it over, over five days, every single week for 52 weeks a year, doing it for years and years and years. And it's just, you know, really crazy to me how sometimes people don't even really stop and think like, man, I've been doing the exact same thing um, for years. You know, I mean, I'm, I'm 30 years old right now. Some of my, you know, friends from uh, high school are literally still doing the exact same thing that they were doing right after. And I'm not saying that, you know, for any, you know, like to, to put anybody down or anything like that, because, you know, they've been exposed to the information. They, they have it there at their disposal, but a lot of people won't take on action because it's not for everybody. You know, not everybody is meant to really take action. And everybody that's on this call, guess what you guys are doing? You're taking action. You know, you're taking time out of your day to be here. You're, you know, I hope completely here and, and not somewhere else because it's easy to get distracted. It's easy, if, especially if you have kids, if you have pets, you know, if there's stuff going on around, like I, I get it, you know, but if you're really here, you're paying attention and, you know, you're showing up to every single one of these calls, then you're already set for success. 90% of your success is just going to be showing up. Just showing up at the right place at the right time is what got me involved with I am and because of that, because I showed up at the right place at the right time, I met Mike and Jordan. And it's, you know, all about timing, timing, timing. Just like Alex Morton, big bro, he says, in real estate, it's all about, you know, location, location, location. Here, it's all about timing, timing, timing. Your time is right now. I mean, right now is the time that, you know, every single cryptocurrency is going to pop. Um, I mean, not every single one. I don't want to, you know, also give you false hopes. But a lot of cryptocurrencies and, you know, new assets that are going to come out are all going to pop like crazy. I mean, you're going to see 10,000% returns like some people have seen. Um, a lot of people I know got a little a little bit of money that they were able to invest into uh, VRA early on. Um, some people got into uh, uh, SaveMoon, myself included. I hope that, you know, people got out at the top because, you know, I'm not sure if, it, if that's looking too promising. There was a, a call that the CEOs did. It was, it was kind of like a troll. So, you know, um, everybody kind of bailed out after that. Um, but I mean, you know, there's still a lot of new assets that are going to be coming out. One of them that I was talking about uh, with Jordan Morgan, uh, he actually put me onto this one. So I'm gonna give you guys, you know, one of Jordan Morgan's call. I can't take credit for this um, completely, but it's... Um, let me let me find it real quick. Where is it? Where is it? <clears throat> it's called. I'm not sure if can't find the uh, exact picture, but it's uh, it's change. Um, I don't know if you've heard about it uh, too much yourself, Jordan. Uh, yeah, <laughs> but that's yeah, something that we'll be releasing very soon. And so that's something that, you know, um, I would really uh, go pretty, pretty big on, you know, pretty fat lot size. <laughs> <laughs> I love it. I love it. I love the summary of that message. And it's like, guys, like take it from Chris, take it from myself, take it from a lot of people who've been in the entrepreneurship game and been investing for a few years of like how important the timing, like how important timing is. And when we're saying like, yo, right now is that time, like, right yeah. now is that time, like, <laughs> like, because i'm telling you reason. five years anybody who has you know any any type of i mean yeah ethereum of course uh you know those all the big ones are definitely going to continue to go you know up um and and it's it's pronounced like this something like that change yeah yeah i've seen i've seen jordan put that on my radar like maybe like last week um and by the way guys <laughs> we got Mr. Pew coming on next week. We got Mr. Pew coming hey. on next week. <laughs> so, um, but yeah, I love it. I love it that we have this community too that does this. And like how many people here have caught 
safe mode. Well, pod, that's that's the thing is that listen to the the type of music that is being circulated now. Like, what is it talking about? <laughs> you see what I'm saying? Like, we, we've influenced you know so many different areas of just our social construct that it's now in in you know the music. Very soon is going to be in the movies. It's already been in some movies, you know, but it's going to be something like the Wolf of Wall Street. I, I promise you guys, this is going to be a huge, huge moment. A lot of people are going to look back and, you know, some of them are going to say, oh, I saw that happen. And a lot of people, you guys are going to be able to say, I was there. You know, we were part of that revolution. Mm -hmm. We're the ones that made that happen. Mm -hmm. And that's what's really, you know, going to, going to really happen just in the next five years. I mean, I can't even look too far because look at what we've done in the last five years. True. In the last five years, we've created so many millionaires, like more than a handful of millionaires. We've created so many six-figure traders uh, just, just in uh, trade house alone, because a lot of other teams now have access to FTMO. But just in trade house alone, we currently have over 620 funded FTMO traders. Like, think about that. That's that's crazy. And I'll be honest with you, year one was a learning experience. Year one, we didn't really make any money. It was just a learning experience. Year two, you know, we started to become a little bit profitable, but it wasn't until like the end of year two that we actually found smart money. Um, and or I wouldn't say found it, but more like, you know, reverse engineered everything and realized that it's really upset, you know, observe the masses and do the opposite. And um, once we started to test those theories, it was like, man, we should have been doing this all over uh, since the beginning. But we learned through trial and error. We also got mentored by a lot of people. Shout out to Eddie Viteri, uh, Zachary Hogan, who was his partner. When we met him, that's actually how we got a hold of Zachary Hogan. Zachary Hogan is one of the most you know, advanced, one of the wisest, one of the most humble individuals that I've ever met. Um, this is why we learned from these guys, because you know, more than the money that they were making, we wanted their mindset. Mm -hmm. The thing is that Zachary Hogan and Eddie Viteri, they've mastered this. What do we always say about trading? Trading is 90% mental. So when you master this, you know, trust me, um, like you, you have no emotions anymore to money and you can just play the game for what it is, for Jeez. skill. Jeez, yeah, Zach's a genius. Yo, shameless plug episode two. <laughs> <laughs> but it's just crazy to me because yeah, I mean, like it's, it's going to be everywhere. Like, uh, you know, everybody's going to be trading or know about it. Everybody's going to be like just ridiculously wealthy from pressing buttons on the phones from Jeez. making money in minutes yeah yeah uh, i've already it. seen people on hfx and to see how much yeah. they're making like that like yo yeah. crazy <laughs> yeah I, I i'm like where where are the people that are joking about the forex and the crypto boys now <laughs> like those jokes all stop they're, they're in their dms That's where they're <laughs> yeah because <at. laughs> yeah, those jokes all everyone now it's mainstream it's mainstream now people have seen okay They've seen not just Bitcoin, not just Ethereum, you know, Dogecoin or SafeMoon or Elongator, all these different cryptocurrencies and just like, and now it's becoming mainstream things like stories of somebody putting their stimulus check into some random cryptocurrency and now being worth millions, you know, in, in, in 12 months. And like, these are, these are real things happening. These are real stories with real people with real stories and like, guys understand you are involved in a community where those stories are happening on the freaking daily yo but with what you said and the smart money because i think that's one of the biggest things i think uh, you might have muted yourself <laughs> yeah, i pressed i yeah, pressed them i actually pressed the space button but i wanted you to talk more about like smart money and that sort of because i find smart smart money is not a strategy but it's more of a philosophy and I'd love to kind of hear you apply that to how you kind of go about with crypto investing, you know, like that idea of observing the masses and doing the opposite. Yeah, of course. So um, it's, it's all really just about patience. I mean, mm -hmm. trading in itself is a transference of wealth from the impatient, everybody who rushes into the market um, over to the patient, the people who were able to wait, you know, who were able to analyze, who were speculative, who took the time to, uh, control their emotions and not get um, hooked onto the bait, which, you know, a lot of the times they bait us with support and resistance. I mean, that stuff is created there literally to bait people uh, for the real move. And ultimately, that's why everybody at one point or another in their trading career, they feel like their stop loss gets hit and then the move happens, right? But it's not just you, it's 
everybody else that trades that way. And so that's what we realized. And so really it is observe the masses and do the opposite. But what I mean about patience is instead of buy low, sell high, it's buy lower, sell higher. So you wait, right? For it to dip some more and then you get in when it's lower. Good example. And this happens on every instrument across the board, even in stocks. Like it happened with Apple last year. Last year, Apple half their stocks from like 400 to 200. A lot of people got in at 200 and it dipped right to 100. So a lot of people lost money, pulled out, and then it shot up. <laughs> so, you know, it's, 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 it's what happens over and over and over. It's the typical pattern of, you know, taking candy from impatient little kids. <laughs> and so the banks, you know, they're not like geniuses. It's not like they have to like come up with some, you know, demonic strategy. It's not like there was like a round table and they were like, you know, how are we gonna steal money from people? Because people themselves get got. This is the reason why in a casino, the house always wins because people's own greed, people's own inability to stop, people's own, uh, you know, lack of discipline is the reason why casinos get rich. It's not that casinos are there robbing anybody. I mean, they're giving you a fair chance. A lot of the times you just don't know when to quit. Oh, that's so good. And I think we're like witnessing it right now, you know, with what just happened. Like today's April 23rd for people listening to this recording. Bitcoin's today right now. I don't have a price chart up in front of me. Let's pull up coin market cap. I believe last time I checked. We're sitting at $49,000, you know, and Bitcoin was at recently at $63,000. So it's fell pretty much that hard in the last couple of days. And I know not just Bitcoin, but the entire market as a whole is down right now. And, you know, I'm seeing a lot of, I'm seeing in the chats and I'm like setting you up here. Like I'm seeing on Instagrams and things like people talking about selling their, their coins and stuff. They're like, what's going on? Should we sell? And it's like, like exactly what we're saying right now. It's like, patience right the patience of that um but yeah exactly. i'd love to hear i'd love to hear your spin on, <laughs> on the mentalness we're seeing right now this this last week or so yeah i saw a lot of people have like a crazy sense of euphoria and and then you know experience uh probably the worst thing that could happen in in any uh new launching you know um cpo or ipo or you know whatever because Whenever something launches, uh, there's always that, um, that I guess, like sense of, oh, that could be a pump and dump, you know, and a pump and dump, what a pump and dump is, is whenever um, some, you know, rich people get an idea, they hype up something, and they get a lot of people to come in and invest uh, because of the hype, and uh, it doesn't actually take off. So, you know, they sell, you um, pretty much driving the company to the ground, but getting rich on the process. So, you know, that might have been one of the things that we witnessed last week with Safe Moon. Mm -hmm. And, you know, those things, they tend to happen. But again, you know, if you're an investor, it, it shouldn't phase you because it's just one out of how many different coins are you going to invest from here until you die? <laughs> you see what I'm saying? Like, it's, it's literally one trade. And so, you know, mm -hmm. some people took a loss in that trade, uh, myself included. It did come back up, but you know it's still down about twenty percent of my original position. So, you know, it's it's just one of those things that you have to realize as an investor. Um, yeah, you gotta you know just be be careful. I wouldn't say it's dead completely. I don't want to be the person that scares everybody into getting completely out because I'm still holding in on my position. Again, it's just money to blow, right? Because that's how you have to look at these markets. So, you know, I don't mind having the patience and seeing. Hey, look, maybe it could you know, have just came down to take a lot of people out, um, just like we've seen in Bitcoin as well, 2017, you know, uh, 2020, we saw that as well. And um, I believe we're going to see that again very soon. So even though it's coming down right now, you know, I, I would still look for uh, a good, you know, price to get back in it, because I believe it's going to go right back up. Um, it still has a long ways to go, in my opinion, just because of how Many companies now are using Bitcoin. I mean, Lamborghini now is even using Bitcoin. Sure. Uh, a lot of car companies actually are using Bitcoin. You can literally use Bitcoin for so many different things. And um, you know, one thing too that I that I heard, and you know, I can't I can't go too much uh, in detail into this. You guys will find out pretty soon as well. Um, this is like an insider, so like don't let this you know get get too far uh, <laughs> uh, or, or trace it back to me. And you know. I'm, I'm pretty sure that um, it'll be released soon anyways, but uh, you know, I am as a company is looking at different types of cryptocurrencies for PAL. 
So, <laughs> yeah, that's just something. That's just something again, you know, to look forward to. It's the future, guys. And it's crazy because now every time I go to any gas station, there's a crypto ATM. And I, again, we're seeing the future right in front of us. Um, yep. You know, so you got to really get everybody that you know on this on this wave because you got to ride the wave or or drown in it. And that's yep. going to happen to a lot of people because again, we're seeing the largest transfers in wealth. Even even with COVID, I mean, look at what happened with COVID, you know, like that was, that was literally a shot of directly at the middle class mm -hmm. to take out the middle class. And it's going to become a very different world than what we've seen. You know, the new normal is what we're going to create. And so, you know, I want to create the new normal to be a bunch of chairmen. And I see that happening with everybody who's on this call because guys, it's crazy to me seeing how many rank ups happened just in the last, last week. Like literally I've seen so many people like, there's no longer one flyer there's a page of flyers <laughs> and it's just like amazing for me you know to see so many people winning and you know just like I see everybody who was once a p150 now smashing the ranks of p2000 p5000 I know that it's just a matter of time before everybody starts popping chairman like popcorn so it's it's gonna be crazy a bunch of chairmen who trade see that's mm. that's something that's different and I believe that Everybody that, you know, um, is a part of trade house and QC really has that same vision in mind. And that's to do this the right way, you know, to, to lead by example, to teach people that, you know, both of these things that we're doing right are very important. You know, one is taking care of ourselves. The other one's taking care of other people. So you see in Egypt, they had this um, really interesting way of looking at uh, life after death. And so, you know, once you would die, uh, and you would go through the uh, you know judgment hall of Osiris. They would ask you two questions in order to enter the uh, the kingdom, you know, after so heaven, if you will, or you know, a different life, a different reincarnation, whatever you want to think of that. But you know, in order to get to that place, they would ask you two questions, and you had to answer both of these with a yes, an honest and sincere yes. And the first question was, did you find joy in your life? Right. And so when you think about that, like, did you really find joy in your life? Like, do you actually experience like true happiness at one point or another in your life? And the second part, because I mean, that's a point of life is to experience, right? And the second question was, did your life bring joy to others? And so if both of those were a yes, they would let you into the kingdom. And I kind of look at this very much the same way because, you know, learning how to trade is like you being able to experience, you know, everything that life has to offer. And then being able to share that with other people, it's like you're, you know, doing the same things for others. And just like the saying goes, you know, do unto others as you would have somebody do unto yourself, you get what you give. So when you end up giving, what happens naturally is you just end up receiving more and more and more your, you know, legacy, your family's legacy continues to grow and, you know, becomes something that it really is uh, amazing to witness. So many people, you know, living now pinnacle lifestyles of people who are you know, average people living like rock stars, living like rappers, living better than your favorite athletes. And, you know, whenever a lot of the chairmen here, they, uh, you know, are nice cars, they're not just renting those out like, like some rappers do and, you know, music videos and stuff like that. Like, you know, these chairmen actually have two Lambos, you know, from cryptocurrencies. Like I've been in Miami with Ness and I've seen it, you know, and I've seen, you know, how all these other crypto traders are living and, you know, everybody's buying a Lambo from crypto. As a matter of fact, that's the challenge for everybody on this call. You guys are now, you know, being challenged to buy a Lambo from cryptocurrencies. <laughs> so however long that takes, let's get it. Everybody's going to have a crypto Lambo. You guys heard it here. You guys heard it here. <laughs> I love it. I love it. There's, there's so many good things you said there, man. Like, I love that because you can just go on and on and you're just throwing the value at people. And like, man, the recording here, guys, and there's going to be so much value. But like that whole idea of, you know, that's why I do these calls. That's why I do these podcasts. And that's why I put them out there. And that's for our team, for the people that we exclusively work for, but the world, because I want people to, to, to get that glimpse in, to get that listen in, to get to be a part of the conversation with people who are invested in the market, things that we've learned, to share the value. because. I'm a true, true believer that the universe won't give you what you're not ready to handle, right? And it won't give you a lot of abundance if you're not willing to share that. It, it just won't. It just won't work that way. You know, it's a natural karma of the world. And so I look at, you know, the people who have a lot of success, who have their lifestyles, who have their results. I'm like, damn, how many people have they really helped it? Like, have that the universe has given them 
that for them. Like that, that is so crazy to me. And like, I think these conversations are so important because there's a lot of people here that I want to tie this back to cryptocurrency that, like you said, have bought Bitcoin maybe for the first time in their life in the last month, maybe the last two months. And are right now are like, damn, I, I don't know, man. I don't know right now anymore. Like, should I sell? Should I like, should I give up? And I love what you said. And I think it's a point worth reiterating of like, yo, like realize the long term. Realize, like observe the masses, observe the emotions, observe how everybody else is freaking out, observe how they're doing it. But it's like the ones of us who've been here, we know it's like, this ain't nothing. This is just another little dip. This is a small little dip in the, in the big wave of what this of, of what this really is with cryptocurrency and where we're going, you know? And so, yeah, the reason why people get Lamborghinis and cryptocurrency is because they held on, you know, they held on when everyone else was a scam, when everyone else was selling their coins, when everyone else forgot about it, you know? And so I love to kind of hear you kind of even like, I know you've kind of touched on this before, but I really, really believe people need to hear this. Like, this is the most important information right now of just like reality check. Like, are you like an investor? Are you here for a long term or what's good? Tell them, Chris, tell them like how you really feel. Oh yeah, of course. I, was I, mean, <laughs> I look at everything now. Um, as just risk reward uh every choice you know every risk that you take you know what what is the risk to the reward and you know i myself i, I like to only go big you know this is why i'm a swing trader as well because you know I, I don't like to look at charts every single day i did this at the end of the day for freedom so you know even though i'm an investor i'm a trader um you know i'm a, I'm a builder you know I'm, I'm somebody who's constantly building other people up and um you know i believe that if you're doing something that, you know, makes you really happy and makes you feel fulfilled, whether that's looking at charts all day. I know people who are obsessed with looking at charts all day and there's nothing wrong with that. You know, there's people who enjoy it, who, uh, you know, are very good at uh, trading consistently and catching, you know, a million trades. And that's, that's great. That's awesome. You know, that makes you feel fulfilled if it's because, you know, you teach others like, you know, again, the same thing, but it, life is about just doing what makes you happy and, you know, for me, investing and being able to leverage my money and put my money to work so that I don't have to is, I believe, the biggest life hack that there is, because, you know, now you're able to to really enjoy um, true freedom, like true financial and true tr time freedom to where, uh, you know, life becomes like your dollar store or the world becomes like your dollar store. And, you know, you're just infinitely abundant and you have like a million dollars at a dollar store and you can bless anybody's life you can change anything for anybody you can oh yeah you know let me let me get 10 of those real quick you know like it's nothing and and so whenever you really want to create change i believe you have to again like the movie uh ready player one you have to beat the game and so you know the goal long term is you know uh, of course to make so many figures that we we eventually break the system i mean you know i would not mind one bit if one day chris terry was just like hey you know what guys like, that's it. There's just no more money. <laughs> you know, if all the brokers were like, look, guys, we, we can't even pay you out. Like, that's it. Like, there's there's no more money. Like, you guys have it all. Like, you know, uh, at that point, money would become irrelevant. And then we can start, you know, talking about uh, different things like, you know, actually uh, coming together as a collective human conscious. And um, I don't know, like exploring other worlds, you know, learning more about our abilities and the things that we can actually do and i don't want to sound crazy but i mean you guys all have the ability to do some pretty amazing things that you would never think were possible and you know if you've never experienced that i would challenge you to you know dive a little bit deeper the only way out is in and um, meditation is a really good way to start but you know there's so much more to, to live than you know just uh, making money uh, for me it's it's completely about the freedom and you know investing uh, I believe it's just, you know, the easiest way to obtain freedom without having to do a lot of back breaking labor and really secure the bag, really secure the foundation and, you know, do whatever you want to do. Go after all your, your goals and dreams. Like some of my biggest passions are, you know, to uh, become so wealthy that I could just, you know, disappear for a little bit and, and go and just be like, you know, on a racetrack all over the world racing, you know, my favorite cars. Like that's one of, you know, the things that I like. So again, you know, there's so many different um goals that i know everybody on this call has and those goals are are just going to be part of what keeps you going the other part is going to be you know just your own discipline and 
you know, how bad you really want it because you don't get in life what you want. You get what you really, really want. And you also get who you are. So if you're somebody that deserves it, you're somebody that does good for others, you know, you're somebody that's constantly blessing other people, putting other people on game, you know, constantly just telling people about this and that coin and invest in this coin, that coin. Like I can't tell you how many strangers lives I've blessed or just, you know, people who I've known who weren't in the business, who I just told them, hey, get into this. And because they got into it and saw some benefit, they actually wanted to learn more. They got involved, you know, then they wanted to start, you know, going all out with it. And, and so, you know, you have that power, guys. And um, with great power comes great responsibility. And it's your responsibility to go out there and, you know, talk to other people about it because they'll never know about this until they run into one of you. And so, you know, they're going to keep running in the rat race, running around in circles, living life paycheck to paycheck, living life nine to five, thinking the only way to make money is to work for it. I mean, think about that. Like that was every single one of us at one point. And, and now we're talking about, you know, pressing buttons and, you know, NFTs. And <laughs> it's just crazy to be because it's, it's real. And, you know, this is something that is going to change the world, that is changing the world. And every single one of you guys are a part of that. Yay. Yay. <laughs> She's like, man, so good. Yeah, we're like, I look at it like, you know, plant seeds, you know, investments, plant seeds, you know, people plant seeds, information, just keep planting seeds, you know, and one day you'll look and you'll realize, yo, I have a freaking beautiful garden of abundance because I've been planting seeds for years. And, you know, and like, that's the thing that people realize it's not going to grow overnight. You know, just water that garden and keep planting those seeds. And I guarantee you something will grow, you know, keep growing. But Chris, I want to ask you for, for our new traders here, what's the, What's the biggest lesson you've had in your investing and trading process? Um, patience. I would say patience, patience. and emotional discipline. Yeah. Yes, like I like uh, some 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 people know me as a very like chill person, but I promise you, five years ago that was not the case. Like I was a different. I was very reckless. I was very aggressive. Very very angry. You know, you know I was a very angry child. I grew up with a lot of suppressed emotions and a lot of trauma and. You know, in a very dark place and uh, that that's like one of the biggest reasons why I wanted to become immensely successful is because you know I, I never wanted to experience the uh, things that I experienced growing up and if you've ever watched the movie um, The Great Gatsby that's like the best visual I could give you you know when he's in that uh, stage where he's like dirt poor I mean literally like I was <laughs> dirt dirt poor guys and like I'm telling you I used to get uh, uh, showered in like a little tin bucket when I was born like it was you know we, were, we didn't have a whole lot and I'm not complaining because that taught me how to be grateful for the things that I have now um I promise you I would not be the same you know if I had an experience uh duality you have to know the good in order to you know or the bad in order to experience the good and vice versa and so you know I think that it's the same way with you know with this and you know people who are, have now been exposed to uh, what trading can do for somebody and you know, what, what the power of, of trading actually is. And, you know, it's not like, I believe a question that people have anymore, whether it works or not, everybody kind of knows that it's real, that it, of course it works. There's a lot of success coming from this. And, you know, yeah, I mean, just keep sharing, you know, your, your vision with other people, because I promise you, like, that's going to be the reason that somebody decides to go all in yourself. Somebody asked me the other day, how do you hit chairman? And, you know, to answer that question, I told them, you know, help somebody else hit chairman. So, to, to kind of like answer how to become a very successful trader or investor, you know, help other people do the same. Mm. I promise you. And, you, and teaching you learn, and you can ask anybody who's ever, you know, uh, help break down the charts for somebody else or, you know, put somebody else on game or, you know, even take the time to teach them how to play around with MetaTrader 4 or TradingView, like you learn so much in doing that. And, um, you know, I believe that you always get what you give. So again, consistently just help other people out and that's always going to come back to you guys Sheesh. yes straight bars straight wisdom right there guys straight straight wisdom once you give is what you get you know how do you help how do you become a good trader do you help other people become a good trader <laughs> simple yeah, facts <laughs> you teach them patience i promise you you're gonna learn some patience oh yeah man I, I every time i talk to you man more and more things unlock more and more things click more and more things make sense you know, that's just always how it is. So one last nugget, man. One last nugget for uh, just just a nugget, man. A nugget. We want more. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, bro. I mean, look, all I can say about um, 
to kind of like you know and and the uh, the call uh because i don't want to take up you know too much of you guys is night i could talk forever if you if you told me to but um i, I really believe that this is it that we found it that this is what every single person has always been looking for not just the people on this call but everybody i mean everybody wants more uh time freedom everybody wants you know obviously more money everybody wants to help other people i've heard everybody say that yeah i like helping people um everybody wants to travel the world i believe everybody wants to experience you know the nicer things in life uh the food the cars the the clothes um the views of course the views right the helicopters the private jets and and Trust me, there's an abundance of that. And, you know, you guys can experience that. I promise you, there's a lot of people who are experiencing that right now. And, you know, a lot of these people, they, they maybe don't even deserve it, right? We're witnessing the biggest transference of wealth. So maybe the fact that we're learning how to trade is their bad karma. I don't know. Mm. <laughs> but I promise you, like, you know, we really are impacting things on such a big scale don't take it lightly. Like this is this is a huge, huge mission. And every single one of you guys chose to play this game in legendary mode because you guys are all legends. So whatever struggles, whatever battles you guys are all going through, like keep going, right? If you're if you're going through hell, why stop? Like keep going. If you've lost a trade, if you've you know lost on cryptos, uh, if you've you know lost people in your business, keep going because you know to to stop for one trade, like man, that just would have sucked. You know, if Michael Jordan would have stopped playing basketball because he missed one basket, right? If uh, Messi or, uh, you know, one, one of my favorite guys, um, CR7, right? If they stopped playing soccer because they missed one shot, like think about that guys. Like, it's just, you know, another opportunity. It's, it's, it's literally playing a game. You know, you're playing chess with the markets. It's ping pong it goes up and down. It's very simple. And when you understand how simplistic the markets are, you're able to live a very peaceful life. You're able to understand that there's an abundance of wealth. You're able to understand that, you know, um, uh, the rich people don't go to hell like we were conditioned to think because money only exposes who you are. If you're a good person, you can do a lot of good with money and time will either expose you or promote you. A lot of the times people say they want to do this and they're going to do that and they're going to go all in. And I promise you, no leader, none of your chairman, none of, none of your traders that you guys look up to want to hear you say, I'm gonna, they want to hear you say I did. So, you know, don't tell people what you're going to do. Just do it. Show that that is Christian Vargas. Thank you so much. Thank you so much, man, for being here. Thanks for your time. And just thank you for everything that you've done for all of us here. Literally all 60 people that we had here live. None of us would be here without Chris guys. None of us would be here without the work he did for years before any of us even saw this opportunity. And also thank you for the work I know you're going to do. Thank you in advance for the work that you're going to do for us, for the stuff that you're going to continue to do for this family because you do so much for us. And it doesn't go away. Right. Right. Amen. And I appreciate you so much. Like the trade house literally changed so many people's lives. So it's been an absolute blessing to been able to have had last week, Mike Miles, right? This week, Christian Vargas. The next week, guys, James Plug, we got the third and final co-founder of trade house jordan morgan mr pew like yeah, the, don't probably, use that i promise you <laughs> no, Man, no. Use that. like probably the biggest savage i know when it comes to just trading and investing and not giving a shit what you think and just telling you this is his opinion <laughs> like if you like that kind of style jordan is that guy and he is literally that dude that puts everybody on when it comes to trading and investing so next week friday same time guys nine o'clock central and again chris thank you so much and family lastly familia real quick um you know you can stop recording but um i wanted to also